In Court on TKO8 Television is brought to you by Campbell Bonding Company. Even the best of us make mistakes, so when trouble finds you, trust Campbell Bonding Company to help you through what can be a confusing and sometimes frightening experience. Jim, Robert, and Cole Campbell work as a family to offer your family understanding and compassion during a very difficult time. Campbell Bonding Company can help get your family back together quickly and confidentially. And in every step of the process, they're there for you. In times of trouble, let their family help your family. Campbell Bonding Company, 870-741-1138. Calling 2016-114, State of Arkansas versus Corky Ray Anglin. Judge, Mr. Russo told me yesterday when he was at the jail, Corky hadn't been brought up. Oh, there he is. <coughs> Mr. Anglin, do you have counsel representing you at this point? Have, have you applied to talk to, to be have the public defender's office appointed? No, I was uh, trying to call, uh, trying to uh, get a message, left messages, trying to get in the talk with uh, what could be more private matters, but uh, okay. yeah, I haven't been able to get a hold of it. Probably no. Mr. Hancock, have you been contacted on Mr. Anglin's behalf? What's the name, sir? Corky Ray Anglin. I don't believe so. Well, all right. Mr. Anglin, the court is advising that you that you have an attorney. What that means is that you have the right to hire an attorney of your choice. Uh, that's up to you to get done, you or your family to get done. Uh, the court doesn't get involved in the hiring of private counsel. Uh, if you find you cannot afford to hire an attorney, then an attorney will be appointed for you. Uh, in order to uh, make it known that you're seeking appointed counsel, you'll need to fill out the application for the public defender's office that is out there at the, uh, they have them out there at the jail, get that filled in, uh, out and turned in. Uh, as soon as possible. Um, you're before the court today for arraignment on charges. The charges are possession of methamphetamine with the purpose to deliver a Class A felony, possession of a Schedule II controlled substance with the purpose to deliver a Class B felony, drug possession of drug paraphernalia, a Class D felony, possession of a controlled substance, tramadol, Schedule 4, Class A misdemeanor. Reckless driving, a Class B misdemeanor. No liability insurance, a violation. Uh, speeding, uh, a violation. All charged as an habitual offender. Uh, on those charges, how do you now plead? Not guilty. Okay. I'm noting your plea of not guilty at this time. Your Honor, is there a service date for the previous 
No, there does not appear to be. He's in the Arkansas Department of Corrections. We had him brought up here on a um, order to transport. Well, the arrest date, the original arrest date is March 25th. He did not appear uh, as ordered on May 13th, but apparently he was in DOC, so he's now been transported. So that's, that's the status of the case. We'll use the March 25th as an arrest, as a, as a arrest date. Uh, this matter is on the Division Four docket of this court. Uh, make it down for you know, setting this matter down for a trial. Uh, the week of December 12th. I'm setting it for a pretrial date of October 28th. And we'll set a, uh, a, a reappearance date to check on the status of the case for September 2nd. And I'm going to set it down for a reappearance before this court on June 3rd. We'll see Mr. Anglin on that day to check on the status of his, his attorney. Is there anything else you need to know about Mr. Anglin? Pardon? All right, you may be excused. If we could have the jailer 2016-129-3, State of Arkansas versus Brandon Ledford. Mr. Ledford, have you arranged for an attorney in this matter? Uh, yes, sir. I, I filled out the uh, public defender form last time I was up to 8.1. Yeah, Your Honor, he didn't complete the affidavit of indigency. We're still waiting for an affidavit of indigency from him. All right. Well, apparently you didn't get the affidavit properly filled out, so the public defender's office is unaware of that. Is of concern to the court because this date, uh, the arrest date on this case is December 6, 2015. Uh, we need to be moving this case forward. Uh, what I'm going to direct is that you make sure you promptly fill out the, uh, the application for a public defender and, and you know, just redo it and get it done completely and turned in. And uh, there are two sheets to that. I filled out a yellow sheet. There's a white sheet. The affidavit. Yeah, the affidavit is the white sheet. The yellow sheet is just a, uh, as I recall, it's a personal information for okay. the, to, about yourself. You, you need to fill out the uh, and sign the affidavit, which is the white sheet. Okay, I was only given one sheet when I filled that out, so I'll, I'll, I'll get the other sheet, or I'll get multiple sheets again. Because of prior experience with Mr. Uh, you know, Mr. Ledford, the court's going to make the public defender's office aware that this court, uh, I believe, is aware that Mr. Ledford qualifies for the public defender's office, so we'll need to, we'll need to get, him, uh, get him represented. Uh, I'm on the charges in this matter, which are uh, 
possession of drug paraphernalia, class D felony, and resisting arrest, class A misdemeanor on those charges. How do you now plead? No contest, Your Honor. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to, because you're not represented by counsel at this time, I'm entering this as a not guilty plea uh, on your behalf. Uh, and if there's any question about your uh, your plea, we can take that up next week when you have counsel. Uh, the, uh, Judge, it's a Division Three case. That's right. Um, Mr. Ledford is currently in the Arkansas Department of Corrections. I uh, had talked earlier uh, about running a sentence concurrent with the sentence that he received out of either Washington or Madison County. So if we set him for reappearance next Friday, we can establish his attorney status and potentially resolve the case. Right. I'm going to set you, even though it's a Division Three case, I'm going to set it down to reappear on on June 3rd in front of this court. Okay. Like and, what? And, and, you know, we'll, we'll, once we determine who's representing you, we'll see where we can go from there and get this, perhaps get this matter resolved as, as Mr. Carter has indicated. Likewise, because he's at the Grimes unit, which is all the way across the state, if the sheriff's office could hold him to next Friday, that would be great. That would also give him an opportunity to talk to an attorney. All right. Okay. You may be excused. Sir, may I address you on one issue? Yes, sir. I have, I have uh, some pending misdemeanors in district court. Uh, is there any way I could uh, try to make them resolve those issues while I'm here for this week? Well, that's something you'll need to take up with your... Uh, First of all, you need to take that up with your attorney, but in all probability that can be done. Uh, the, the, uh, we can see what what they are, and, and uh, I'm sure it's in the court's best interest, along with yours, to get those resolved. Okay. Thank you, John. You bet. Even the best of us make mistakes, so when trouble finds you, trust Campbell Bonding Company to help you through what can be a confusing and sometimes frightening experience. Jim, Robert, and Cole Campbell work as a family to offer your family understanding and compassion during a very difficult time. Campbell Bonding Company can help get your family back together quickly and confidentially. And in every step of the process, they're there for you. In times of trouble, let their family help your family. Campbell Bonding Company, 870-741-1138. Here's another satisfied client from Dental Creations of Harrison. My husband and I both went through this together. We both had teeth that was causing health problems. Doctor wanted to come and talk to us about what we wanted, what we, what our options were. We've gotten our final dentures. They feel as natural as, as our other teeth ever did. The best part is being able to smile again and not thinking, okay, I've got to hide this side of my face because that tooth's missing. Dental Creations on the square in Harrison, next to the big red boot. North Arkansas College cares. Did you know they have a food pantry for students, tutoring services, financial and career coaching, and a career clothing closet? And North Arks tuition is one of the lowest in the state. Enroll this fall and get the support you need. Exciting faculty, small classes, and affordable tuition are all examples that show students North Ark cares. Open enrollment now through August 12th. Classes begin August 15th. See the full class schedule at northark.edu or speak with an advisor, 870-391-3505. Two thousand sixteen one thirty eight State of Arkansas versus Jeffrey Wayne Davis.
This, uh, this, Mr. Davis, you're appearing at this time. The charges against you are battery in the second degree, a Class D felony, resisting arrest, a Class A misdemeanor, and uh, criminal trespass, a Class B misdemeanor. On those charges, how do you now plead? Enter a plea of not guilty, Your Honor. Way formal reading of the charge. Plea of not guilty is noted. This case is assigned to the Division Four uh, docket. Um, he had a failure to appear back on May 13th. The court sh this docket shows that he was arrested on May 19th on that from that failure to appear. Um, Your Honor? Yes, sir. On the failure to appear, the 12th, 13th, 14th, 15th, 16th, and 17th, I was in the hospital in Springdale, Arkansas. The nurse here is trying to get the paperwork for me to prove that. Okay. But that's my understanding, Judge. We don't have the paperwork yet. Um, in light of that, I'd ask the court if his bonds will stay on the bond to allow his original bond to stand. I'd like to establish whether or not they have telephones in Springdale, Arkansas. Which I'd ask the court to take judicial notice. Springdale has telephones. They do have. I was in the VHU, sir. Well, let's let's see what what kind of what what shows on that. Um, at this time, the court's not uh, not going to pursue the the uh, failure to appear charge uh, pending pending uh, uh, establishment of proof of where he was. Uh, this matter will be uh, at this time. The court's going to enter a scheduling order that that sets this matter down uh, the arrest original arrest date was April 13th 2016 so the court's setting it down for uh, December the trial during the week of December 12th uh, the courts also setting it down for a pretrial hearing October 28th and a, and a reappearance on September 2nd for checking on the status of the case um, Mr. Mr. Uh, Davis, where are you going to be living uh, if you're released today? Um, sir, that would probably be in Omaha, Arkansas. Okay, so you 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 live here in the in this county? Yes, sir. Okay. Mr. Russo, have you had an opportunity to talk to Mr. Uh, Davis at this point? No, Your Honor, we were just appointed on April 29th. Okay. All right. Well, if we can verify where he was, the court would certainly approve the, 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 uh, the reinstatement of the bond in this matter. Judge, we'll try to get that for you before court uh, is done today. All right. Were you in the uh, North Arkansas facility? Yes, I was in the, I believe it was Northwestern Regional Medical Center in Springdale at the BHU. Okay. All right. What I'm directing, Mr. Davis, is that you, if and when you are released uh, on bond, that you immediately get in touch with uh, the, your your attorney and stay in touch with your attorney. If you have any other reason that you can't meet your court dates, you need to contact him, the attorney immediately and and make sure he knows where you are and and uh, or you know touch, at least touch base with the public defender's office. All right. All right. So, uh, you may be excused at this time. Well, in case 2012-48, um, State of Arkansas versus Aaron Conrad. 
Your Honor, Mr. Conrad's case, he was originally set for hearing today on his revocation. However, he still has a new charge coming through that's in the basis of, uh, that's the basis for the petition in this matter. Your Honor, asking the court to take a notice of the petition, he was originally charged with battery in the first uh, degree, a class B felony, and carrying a weapon, a class A misdemeanor. It's my understanding that the charge that's going to be coming through has been um, reviewed and amended, and what's actually going to be filed is a class D felony. Uh, just my preliminary review and meeting with my client, I believe that we may have some affirmative defenses. As a result, Your Honor, he's being held without bond in this case. And in light of what the amendments are, I believe that a, a five to ten thousand dollar bond would be sufficient to guarantee his appearance. And since he has not been arraigned on that new charge yet, I'd ask the court to uh, set that bond, set a bond in this matter. And when the new charge comes through, uh, allow that same bond to stand for the new charge, considering it's going to be a class D felony. What says the state? Your Honor, the, I, I'm somewhat opposed. Not necessarily, I'm very concerned about the new charge, but even more concerned with the fact that he is on probation and has picked up another charge of violence. Or, excuse me, a, a charge of violence based on what he is on probation for. So uh, with regard to the probation, I would just ask that he continue to be held no bond. Well, can we bring the matter before the court for hearing? Well, Judge, here's the problem. In order for me to prepare a defense um, for the revocation and to cross-examine witnesses, I need the discovery in the new case. It hasn't been filed yet, and I don't have it. So in all fairness to my client, Your Honor, I think especially based upon my discussions with him, I would anticipate if we had a revocation hearing, I'm going to need witnesses, I'm going to need discovery, I'm going to need those things. So as it stands now, Your Honor, what I'm asking the court to do is set this out for a hearing. We'll waive the 60-day hearing requirement and allow my client to post a reasonable bond. Obviously, Your Honor, they knew where to find him. I'd ask to take court of the judicial notice that he was on probation and parole and he had a telephone. And as such, law enforcement was able to find him very easily. Has he been arraigned on this? Not on the new charge, Judge. On the, I, I mean, I'm talking about the petition to revoke. That's what I'm looking for. Is any sign that he's been arraigned? I don't see any. Maybe it's here. Maybe it's all the way down at the bottom. He entered a plea of uh, not true. The petition was filed on <coughs> April 29th. He entered a plea of not true on May 13th and was set down for today for a potential revocation hearing. Mr. Carter, what's the status of this new charge? Judge, according to my notes, he is to be arraigned on it on 6-3. I have a copy of the warrant. What I do not have is a return warrant. So the, the, the charges have been filed and the warrant's been issued? Yes. Mr. Carter, I mean, Mr. Russo made, made statements alleging that, that the charges had been amended from what they were originally alleged to be. Is that, that is correct, Your Honor. Uh, in review of all the facts and circumstances, the state has 
chosen to file it as battery in the second degree a class D felony as well as a charge of carrying a weapon a class A misdemeanor. And, Your Honor, until I can fully review all the discovery with my client right now, I'm anticipating a possible affirmative defense of self-defense in this matter. Your Honor, Mr. Russo and I talked about Mr. Conrad yesterday, and he briefly looked through the file. There's probably, in the, uh, in the new case, there's probably 50 pages of which about 20 are witness statements. I'll concede that there is a, a lot of information to digest. Your Honor, Officer Flowers, his, his officer, uh, the court can still require him to appear and report as directed, and I believe that a $5,000 bond would be sufficient to guarantee his appearance until we can get him arraigned on the new charges and get this set for a hearing at a later date. As I said, Judge, I've discussed this with my client. We're waiving the 60-day hearing requirement. We're going to see if we can uh, wrap this matter up together. Well, I don't have an affidavit, but I'm trying to see if if the uh, the petition doesn't give me some understanding of what the facts are. Judge, here's the original affidavit that uh, gives rise to the underlying. Uh, offense, which is the basis of the petition to revoke. Based on the alleged facts in this affidavit, have you seen that, Mr. Wilson? I have not, Your Honor. Is it the one that? Okay. And Judge, has the 
court sees in the affidavit was really originally charged battery first. It's my understanding that because of additional information that the state has that the decision was made not to charge as a first but as a uh, battery second and as I said your honor right now I anticipate potential affirmative defense of self-defense with that being the case your honor um, these are merely accusations at this point and I think a reasonable bond um, should be well, set I, I, I agree with you at this point uh, my, my concern is I don't I don't think five thousand dollars anywhere near an adequate bond under these circumstances. This individual was uh, convicted of a, of a very serious uh, charges, uh, and uh, within a matter of months of being out, uh, he he uh, is engaging in uh, a violent crime, uh, stabbing another individual. What, whatever the circumstances, the allegations against him that are before the court at this point, and the court has reviewed, uh, indicate that he was the aggressor, and that on that basis, the court thinks that uh, uh, the court will approve a bond, but it'll be uh, $25,000, and it'll be conditioned upon not possessing any type of a weapon, either firearm or uh, or knife of any sort. Uh, I, I don't know enough about about beyond that to know the, the court is going to put a limitation on, on not being in possession of drugs or alcohol as well uh, and uh, that that'll be the bond he's ordered to reappear um, I, I'm ordering him to reappear on June 3rd and your honor would the court allow that $25,000 bond to stand on the new charge as well Yes, the court will make that the bond will cover the, that and the, the revocation. He's to report to his probation officer immediately upon his release, release uh, and abide by any further restrictions that the probation office feels are appropriate. Thank you, Your Honor. Your Honor, in the meantime, um, I will copy all the discovery in the new case and provide that to Mr. Russo. On the 3rd, we expect him to be arraigned on the new charge formally. On the revocation, does the court anticipate having a hearing that day or having a hearing later in July? I, I've, I've listened to Mr. Russo on the subject, and, I, you know, I, I'm, I'm, and, the, and you as well, Mr. Carter, uh, in terms of, of uh, the, the extensiveness of the discovery that's going to be involved in, in other matters at that time. So I'm... I'm not anticipating we'll have a hearing on the revocation unless you all inform me that, that both of you can be prepared for that. But right now, I, I just I would like to get the two cases running together and, and let's get, get a plan for moving them through the system. Thank you, Your Honor. All right. Aaron, you hear that? $25,000 bond covers both cases? Yes, sir. Okay. Career Clothing Closet and North Arch Tuition is one of the lowest in the state. Enroll this fall and get the support you need. Exciting faculty, small classes, and affordable tuition are all examples that show students North Arch cares. Open enrollment now through August 12th. Classes begin August 15th. See the full class schedule at northart.edu or speak with an advisor 870-391-3505. Crystal clear mountain streams, river rapids, and rolling hills with endless valleys. The beauty of the Ozarks we often take for granted. At Magnus Toyota, we never underestimate the value of our customers. As a third-generation family-owned business, Magnus Toyota has been operating here in the Ozarks for over 50 years. When we make a new deal, we make a new friend. Stop in and visit us today and see why our customers say we're the best. Magnus Toyota, your hometown Toyota dealer on Highway 65 North in Harrison. You're at the party, having a great time. Your kids are on the dance floor, shaking it for all they're worth. Then you hear it. That word. That even your children know better than to use. Yeah, that word. So you think, doesn't the DJ know better? Man, my kids heard that. I'm Matt Duncan. I own and operate Artistry Entertainment DJ Service. I'm also a daddy. We never play questionable lyrics when kids are present. Ever. 
artistryentertainment.rocks. Yes, we get paid to party, and we take it seriously. Brewster the Rooster here, thanking all of you for offering up a name for me and enjoying the great deal on crispy, crunchy chicken from the Chicken House in Harrison. And an extra special thank you to Joe Carter for coming up with my name, Brewster the Rooster. I'm telling you, I know the family is proud. So come see me at the Chicken House and enjoy a great meal for lunch or dinner or both. The Chicken House, the official home of me, Brewster the Rooster. Introducing two new families of ATVs from Yamaha. The all-new Grizzly and Kodiak 700. The new Grizzly offers increased power and performance to deliver more exploration and more adventure. The new Kodiak 700 features legendary Yamaha reliability for more productivity and more value. The all-new Grizzly and Kodiak 700 ATVs. All with more than ever before. State of Arkansas versus Victoria Hernandez North. Defender's office will be appointed. Member. This is um, Ms. North is uh, uh, Hernandez North is is appearing um, in regard to a petition filed uh, April fifteenth, uh, two thousand sixteen. That petition. Alleges uh, substantial history, and then it alleges that in January 11th uh, she failed to report to her supervision vision officer. That on uh, April 5th uh, she was charged with shoplifting and public intoxication. It, uh, subsequent to that, she had a uh, failure to appear warrant issued. going to start over. The, the allegations are that on April 5th, 2016, she committed the offense of shoplifting uh, and, and a public intoxication and failure to appear. Uh, all violations of condition one, or that is by, break, by violations of law, and she violated the terms and conditions. There is also an allegation that, that she 
uh, failed to report a change of address, which is a violation of a condition. Uh, she failed to report to her supervising officer, a violation of a condition, and, and in fact invaded supervision. Uh, she was behind on her, on her supervision fees and failed to provide proof of, of payment on court fi fees and fines. All of those are the allegations contained in the petition. On those allegations, how does she now plead? Not true, Your Honor. If not true, as noted on the record, this matter will be set. Uh, can counsel be ready for hearing on the June, the June 3rd day? The state can be, Your Honor. In fact, that was the date I was going to request. My dealings with Ms. Hernandez North go back a number of years, and she's not always the best at showing up, and I would just rather get the matter done as quickly as possible. Mr. Russo, what do you anticipate? Is that a date that you were having not going to be able to be here? No, Your Honor. I'd, I'll be able to be here. I was just looking. I've got a, I'm going to prison next week. Yes. And I just want to make sure I'll be furloughed in time, and it looks like I will be back in time. We could do it next Friday. Right. We can always issue an order to transport. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Yeah, we'll set this matter down for hearing on, uh, on June 3rd. Your Honor, would the court entertain a $2,500 bond in this matter? State's opposed. No. Judge, if you look through the file, you'll see failure to appear, failure to appear, failure to appear. <laughs> not at this point. Uh, the court's not going to. Let's, let's see if we can't resolve this matter on the 3rd. Thank you, Your Honor. All right. Even the best of us make mistakes, so when trouble finds you, trust Campbell Bonding Company to help you through what can be a confusing and sometimes frightening experience. Jim, Robert, and Cole Campbell work as a family to offer your family understanding and compassion during a very difficult time. Campbell Bonding Company can help get your family back together quickly and confidentially. And in every step of the process, they're there for you. In times of trouble, let their family help your family. Campbell Bonding Company, 870-741-1138. There are many ways to prepare for retirement, and how you plan for your retirement years takes solid planning. Community First Bank is here to help. With IRAs, CDs, money market accounts, and many other investment options, Community First Bank can hold the key to unlocking your financial future. Stop by and visit with one of our retirement specialists at one of our convenient locations, and let us help you decide which option is best for you. Community First Bank, member FDIC and equal housing lender. North Arkansas College Cares. Did you know they have a food pantry for students, tutoring services, financial and career coaching, and a career clothing closet? And North Arks tuition is one of the lowest in the state. Enroll this fall and get the support you need. Exciting faculty, small classes, and affordable tuition are all examples that show students North Ark Cares. Open enrollment now through August 12th. Classes begin August 15th. See the full class schedule at northark.edu or speak with an advisor, 870-391-3505. Hi, we need a truck for our family. Yeah, something that can keep up with us. Well, Tundra's perfect. Tows up to 10,000 pounds, so you can go boating, ATVing, Ooh. or camping. <sighs> oh, that's fun. Hmm, maybe we made these scenes too realistic. During Toyota time, qualified buyers get 0% APR for 60 months plus $1,500 special edition cash on a new 2016 special edition Tundra for a total savings over $5,900. You look like happy campers. Toyota, let's go places. When you practice your home fire drill, make sure you stay low under the smoke. Make sure you practice home fire drills with your family. Rooster the Rooster here, thanking all of you for offering up a name for me and enjoying the great deal on crispy, crunchy chicken from the Chicken House in Harrison. And an extra special thank you to Joe Carter for coming up with my name, Brewster the Rooster. I'm telling you, I know the family is proud. <laughs> 
Yeah. So come see me at the Chicken House and enjoy a great meal for lunch or dinner or both. The Chicken House, the official home of me, Brewster the Rooster. <laughs> state of Arkansas versus uh, Tracy Shepard. Appointment of the Public Defender's Office to represent Mr. Shepard. This is a first appearance on a petition to revoke that was filed. Um, I believe it was filed April 19th. The record reflects that the, uh, the, the served, uh, Mr. Shepard was served on the 18th of May. <coughs> Allegations contained in the report are that um, Mr. Shepard, that back in February of 2016, Mr. Shepard moved uh, from his approved residence without permission or without notifying a supervising officer and appeared to be evading supervision, uh, a violation of a term and condition uh, that he. Uh, on February 9th, that he failed to report to a supervising officer for his regularly uh, monthly visits and uh, continued to not call or show up. That the that he also was behind in his supervision fees. Those are the allegations contained in the petition. Your Honor, we enter a plea of not true. Ask the court to set a. A reasonable bond in this matter. My client uh, does have a job. His address is local. I'm not quite sure the uh, technical nature of the violations, but I think a thousand dollar bond, cash or pro, would be sufficient to guarantee his appearance. Uh, I think it needs to be a, a little higher than that. And if Mr. Russo would tell the court where he's going to be living so probation and parole can find him, that would be wonderful, but I think more like a $2,500 bond would be reasonable. We could set this matter for a hearing on July 8th. set the matter down for hearing on July 8th. Is that a date that will accommodate you, sir? Yes, sir. Right. We're saying it for hearing on that date. Mr. Shepard, I'm going to, I'm going to uh, set a bond. I'll set it at, uh, I'll set your bond at $1,500, cash or professional bond. But it's going to be conditioned upon that immediately, and I'm talking about uh, if, if you get out 
during the, a working day, either today or or uh, Friday on that bond. I mean, today or Monday? Or, no, not Monday. That's a holiday. Or, or Tuesday, that you uh, that you forthwith, you immediately go to the probation officer and get reestablished on probation. Failure to do that will result in your being uh, you're being uh, uh, having your your bond revoked and you'll sit back in jail. Uh, it is your obligation while you're in jail, I mean, excuse me, while you're on probation to maintain communication with your probation officer. And that's the primary thing you're, you're, you're in trouble for now is, is letting that communication go. Uh, if you don't want to be on probation, we'll, we'll take you off your probation and put you in prison. It's just that simple. So, you know, you know, if we're going to let you out, uh, you need to be uh, in communication with your probation officer. If you make bond over the weekend, uh, 10 o'clock uh, Tuesday morning, next Tuesday morning, I want you in with your probation officer. Do you understand me? Absolutely. All right. You may be excused. Call 2010-39, State of Arkansas versus Kenneth L. Marks. Yes, sir, cases apparently for arraignment when charges have Mr. Marks have you made contact with an attorney I have not your honor well perhaps you should do so I was just arrested sir I won't be able to give an attorney on that file for public defendants. All right. Well, I'm going to strongly urge you to make arrangements. Uh, just reading through the file, it appears that this warrant was originally issued in 2010, I believe. Well, the incident occurred in 2009. There was a Warrant served, according to this documents in the file, in February of 2010, and the defendant was given a court appearance date in February of 2010. And there would appear, you know, in a bond set. He was then arrested on. May 25th of 2016, I believe, uh, and uh, given this court appearance day. And there's nothing else in the file. I laid that suspicion and then never came and got me. Where, where was that? In Oklahoma. I even gave them the extension and waived the extension and they still have the same document. And I'm assuming that's when they issued a court date, but I wouldn't have known because they didn't tell me. They just let me out of jail. In other words, you bonded out of jail. No, they just let me out because they never came and got me. 
they're holding you for expedition and they have to get stopped from everything you got me twice in a row so they just let me go. But they did not tell me about it. No, I'm talking about in, in Arkansas. I've never been to jail in Arkansas, sir. I didn't even, I wasn't even aware of a court date in Arkansas. This reflects that you were arrested on the third day of February of 2010. I promise you. I've and served with a warrant. It couldn't have been me, sir. I've never been to Arkansas. I've never been arrested in Arkansas, sir. <laughs> I wouldn't lie to you. I'm telling the truth. They arrested me in Oklahoma and held me for extradition, but they never gave me any kind of a court date or took me to Oklahoma to Arkansas or anything like that. Well, what I'm going to advise you is you need, you need to contact, you need to fill out the application form that's available there at the jail for the public defender's office. And I'm going to ask that uh, you fill that out uh, and secure counsel. Uh, I'm not going to decide on this. I'll ask the prosecuting attorney's office to look into the facts of this case uh, and be prepared to uh, deal with the with, uh, what the public defender's office finds out after they contact Mr. Mr. Marks, this may this case may be something. Uh, what we just don't know at this point. Uh, so uh, I, I need to have somebody report back to me whether this case is is uh, one that can be gone forward on. And is there any way we can do that expeditiously, sir? Because I'm not a criminal. Case. I'm an old man. And I really didn't do it. <laughs> I need the facts looked into, sir, before I can make any decisions on it. Okay, okay. I don't have enough information at about this time, uh, okay. and I'm, so I'm telling you, you need to fill out the application with the public defender's office immediately. I'm, I'm talking about today, and and hopefully we can get something done on that. I'm going to direct that you be brought over at one. Court on TKO8 Television is brought to you by Campbell Bonding Company. Even the best of us make mistakes, so when trouble finds you, trust Campbell Bonding Company to help you through what can be a confusing and sometimes frightening experience. Jim, Robert, and Cole Campbell work as a family to offer your family understanding and compassion during a very difficult time. Campbell Bonding Company can help get your family back together quickly and confidentially. And in every step of the process, they're there for you. In times of trouble, let their family help your family. Campbell Bonding Company, 870-741-1138. North Arkansas College Cares. Did you know they have a food pantry for students, tutoring services, financial and career coaching, and a career clothing closet? And North Arks tuition is one of the lowest in the state. Enroll this fall and get the support you need. Exciting faculty, small classes, and affordable tuition are all examples that show students North Arks Cares. Open enrollment now through August 12th. Classes begin August 15th. See the full class schedule at northark.edu or speak with an advisor, 870-391-3505. I'm looking for my first Toyota. The Corolla is a great choice. It's super reliable, so it'll be with you for a lot of firsts. Wow, I'm really going places. In a Corolla, right? During Toyota time, get $1,500 customer cash. Or qualified buyers get 0% APR financing for 72 months on a stylish new 2016 Corolla. First things first, your keys. Toyota, let's go places. KTKO Channel 8 Harrison, local television worth watching.